turned out being great actually so um, I'm sure it was a lot better than whatever we were gonna order at Barbachina Bar um, could I have done with a pina colada with it sure but that's okay that's just the universe telling me I don't need any alcohol after um, lunch, we just lounged around a bit and then decided to hit the beach up one more time. Well, I went into the ocean one more time and Toya lounged in the area that has like water. So you could dip your feet in the water while also lounging on the lounge chair. So I got my hair wet. Um, and now this is the result of me washing my hair because of it. I got my hair wet on purpose because I just had to dip my head in that ocean water it just felt so nice and I wanted to swim I wanted to dive into it so I got to and the waves didn't beat me up that much today um, though it, the wave did go into my ear and there's still some water in there um, so for today we don't really have any plans Toya wants to get a Asia bowl Asia I think so bowl from the place that's near the hotel and maybe we'll just do some walking around. It's about 6.15 in the afternoon. We're going to have to pack our bags and leave really early tomorrow because we have a brunch or breakfast reservation at a place called Kana, which is it, or Kanya. I don't know which is the, per, the correct pronunciation. Um, but it's inside of a hotel that's actually close to the airport. So we'll get our breakfast and then head to the airport. And, um, ooh, maybe I'll get a mimosa. Maybe I'll get a drinky drink before the airport. That would be nice. Lots of Bacardi in it too, so hopefully I'm gonna be feeling lit I'm very gonna soon. To, I'm gonna have to walk her by her arm back, okay? That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> some more alcohol and we're eating dinner here now we was gonna get something on uber eats but you know what they got churros on the dessert menu they got chocolate bread pudding that part that part 
on the dessert menu. So, you know what? We were meant to come here tonight and have Everything a great... Everything was a meant, though, I yeah, feel like. And have a great um, last dinner here in Puerto Rico. I'm really enjoying my time here and just walking around and exploring. I enjoyed this evening just getting to see the different things that we did. Sure, we're not like... We're not out, we didn't have set plans, but you know what? We didn't need to. No. We didn't need to. Not. We're just and having a good time. You, know you don't always have to run your life with plans. Yeah. Hi. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
but still got to have some good eats while we were here. I definitely enjoyed Puerto Rico. San Juan, Old San Juan, those are the only places that I visited, so I can't speak about the rest of the um, U.S. territory. I can't say it's a country. It's not a country, right? No, no, it's not a country. Um, but it's beautiful here, and I'm definitely coming back. And when I come back, hopefully somebody that comes with me is going to be willing to rent a car so that we can explore different areas. Because I'm not driving here. I'm not doing it. Not at all. Before leaving this beautiful place, um, I did something that I never do when coming back to the airport. I actually stopped by the whole tax duty whatever place and I got me some, not liquor, sangria. I got a couple of vitals. Duty free. Duty free. <laughs> I don't be knowing people. I be going right past that area whenever I come to the airport because I ain't trying to spend no extra money. But I got a couple of bottles of sangria, pre-mixed sangria, and they were $18 each. I think that's the deal. They looked delicious in the bottle, so I'm looking forward to having that when I get home. And Toya got herself three bottles of Bacardi in three different flavors. Coconut, lemon, and straight. <laughs> and it was a buy two, get one free situation, and that is why she has three. Um, and... I'm excited for the people that's going to drink all that liquor. Um, going through security was special. I'm realizing for the second time in a row, trying to leave a place and going through TSA or security, my crotch is radioactive because you go through the, um, the detector thing that like, and my crotch always lights up like a fucking, I don't know, match or something, I don't know. And I'm always getting felt up at security. I don't know what it is about my crotch. Had a great time, much needed. Got the tan that I needed, okay? Look at this, look at me. My hands are much darker than the rest of my body, but whatever, whatever. I'm enjoying all the vitamin D that my son got, that my son, that my skin got um, on this trip. And yeah, I don't have any more trips planned, but, like booked. I don't have any more trips booked, but I do have a couple of more trips for this year planned. So if they actually get booked, then that will be the next time I see you. If not, I don't know. Let's play it by ear, people. Let's see the next time y'all see me. Bye.